Hi, this is Barbara Mark Higgins, Miles Marie, the Soldier of Mary. I thought I would do a couple of videos or a series of videos on the Legion of Mary and different aspects of the Legion of Mary because the Legion of Mary has been such a massive um, part of my life and my vocation to the priesthood. Um, so I, I was kind of thinking, where should I begin with this one about the Legion of Mary? Um, so maybe I'll just talk about um, why you should seriously consider being a Legion of Mary by talking about some of the things that the Legion of Mary has done for me. So I joined the Legion of Mary when I was 18. I was at university and I remember I was recruited after mass the first weekend that I was at the university for the, you know, just beginning as undergraduate. And I remember hearing that there was a group called the Legion of Mary wanting to start at the university. And I thought to myself, this must be something to do with flower arranging. Maybe it's like a women's group or something. Uh, I'd never heard of it. And I, I um, kind of just hung around after mass, uh, talking to students. And then um, one of the legionaries who was doing the recruitment drive came up to me. And, and amazingly, the first thing she said to me was the Legion of Mary is a group for both men and women. And I remember it, it really struck me because I had this idea that it must just be maybe it's just for women. And I remember that they were meeting in a small room in the chaplaincy, a little side room. And one person uh, said to me, don't go in there or you'll, you'll never come out again. And uh, you know, they were like, they were some kind of Protestant and they obviously had a, a bit of a... Um, you know, uh, prejudice against these legionaries, maybe, or whatever. Maybe they tried. The legionaries had tried to evangelize them, or something, or had evangelized them. Um, anyway, it was kind of um, a striking thing to say because, in one sense, it proved to be prophetic. Because uh, once I went in that room and I found out about the Legion of Mary, in one sense, I never left. Uh, never left the room, and I was struck when I was told that the Legion of Mary, we. The lady told me we meet every week and we have our meeting and then we go and do work for our lady in the parish. And I can still recall the movement of her lips, as she said. And we do the main work we do is home to home evangelization. And um, it kind of it just struck me. I just thought to myself. I, it just went straight into my my heart or straight it straight it hit me it hit me and in a moment decision i thought to myself yeah yeah i see you know a kind of sense of yeah why not why not this that sounds like a pretty reasonable thing to do i obviously thought that the catholic faith was a true religion and i was trying to share my faith and here was this group that was was going to be doing home to home sharing the truths of the faith with others and so I got on board with it and I, I went to that meeting and I did the work. And the first work I did was home to home. And it was uh, it wasn't easy. And, you know, this is the thing about uh, that should be maybe another video, another video. I was just going to talk about my experiences. Um, so my so home to home. The great thing about home to home is that you really get to know um, what a community is like. You really get to know the spiritual level of the area you're living in. Um, and you, you know, and, and, and you, you really get to appreciate people's actual concerns, their level of faith, um, their level of, of religiosity, um, whether they go to any kind of church or anything. You, you really get to know that. And also you get to know what the demographics of your area are like, um, a bit more than you, you might have an impression that you're, the area you live in is full of immigrants, full of maybe, I don't know, a particular um, ethnic group that have moved to your area. But then you can be really struck when you're doing home to home. Actually, the demographic is, is not as you had imagined. Or you think to yourself, oh, my area has been taken over by Muslims. But then when you're doing home to home, you realize, well, actually, that's not quite true. Uh, there's still um, you might find that actually the Muslims are only one in every five doors or something. But just walking down the road, you you're getting that impression or something. So so that's a kind of purely human benefit of home to home. Um, but the thing about home to home is you start you start um, 
you start appreciating, uh, you start going beyond all of the kind of um, tribalism that's within Catholicism right now. You know, whether whether you go to the, the new mass, whether the pope is problematic, whether, um, you know, whether you're charismatic or whether you are um, um, against whatever, against vaccines or something. Um, when you're doing home to home, you've got to get with you realize you're in sales now, as it were, you're in sales. And when you're in sales, you're pro you've got to be confident about your product and and. and <laughs> And when you're going home to home talking about the Catholic faith, you are. I've seen it in myself with fellow legionaries. We can be gathered together. And maybe we're talking about how we don't get on with our parish priests or something or difficulties of being in, 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 in that particular parish. Maybe he's maybe he's not coming to the Legion of Mary meetings. Maybe he's let you let some um, fitness group use your room or something. And you've had to move to another room because he's getting 10 quid to let a fitness group to use your room but when you're on the doors you you get to the core about why you are a catholic it really helps you appreciate that some of the other stuff is really fluff it's fluff compared to the business that we should be in as catholics which is saving souls i i watched a really interesting uh, this is i'm doing this video in september 2023 and i watched a really interesting interview with um i think it was jeff cavins the other day um on the pints of aquinas uh show and he was really amazing and that's why i wanted to make this video because jeff cavins said about about how he was focused on sorry i have a little cat and she has disturbed the camera there we go it's just balancing on top of the laptop which doesn't have a great camera so yeah jeff cavins was was really talking about how um by being uh, involved in active evangelization it stops you from caring so much about about some of the um fluff issues and i know you know they are the point is these issues are serious you know they are serious but they're kind of out of our um pay grade it's not really we're not going to change anything about them and it's not down to us to change them but what we have been asked to do by christ and also through our baptism is to make disciples of all nations and um you don't make disciples look i'm doing it now though aren't I? i'm doing a youtube video you don't make disciples really by youtube videos you make disciples by speaking with people uh, real people in real life there's room for having kind of catholic entertainment you know and interest stuff that's interesting but we don't actually evangelize and we, we shouldn't see ourselves that we are evangelizing by um knowing about the roman ritual or something or knowing about the graduale romanum or, or even knowing about um the sequence of events that might that that are that apparently is going to happen in medjugorje or um you know, that's not actually evangelization, knowing about this stuff. It's OK to know about that stuff, that stuff, because it might be interesting to you. We all have our own interests and hobbies. Uh, but that is not like fulfilling your baptismal call to share the truth of the Catholic faith with others. Um, that's just trivia. And it's, it might be fun and makes it fills up our boring lives with with better things than, um, you know, magazines, celebrity magazines or something. But at the same time. Um, we need to actually be evangelizing people actively, walking alongside people, meeting with them, bringing people to mass, checking up on people, calling around to see them um, with, a, with an apostolic view in mind. The Legion of Mary gives you a work time when you do this, you know, like a schoolwork. The analogy is that Legion of Mary work, the two hours that you have to do evangelization in pairs, reporting back to your meeting. Those two hours are kind of like your, uh, your your time at school, your time at school. Um, but the whole point of time at school is it's meant to prepare you for for like life and stuff. So um, so you do the Legion of Mary work, but that's so you then have the skills um, you do like the home to home, the street rescue, the 
the cemetery visitation, the book barrow, the crowd contacts, the homosexual apostolate, catechetical instruction, running a rosary group, um, the statue visitation. You do all those things so that you then have the naturalness, the natural ability to just share your faith with others and to walk alongside others so that in your day to day life, you live out the baptismal uh, call to share the truths of the faith with others. So that's a tiny bit about how I joined the Legion of Mary um, and about some of the work in the Legion of Mary and the place the Legion of Mary has in the church. Um, may Almighty God bless you. May Our Lady intercede for you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.